Who? This trans woman. She came into the bar today. She was like seven feet tall. Really tall and big fake boobies. And she was Asian. Is that a part of the surgery, the seven foot? I don't know. She was like taller than me. They bro. shoved giant bones she was, in her. It was not seven. She was like six two, six three. And uh this fucking uh black dude at the bar just kept Whoa. looking at her. Relax. Hey, no. But he he's just kept, he just kept going. Like, 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 like trying like, look, to banger? No, like trying. I don't know what like he's trying, trying to figure to, out. But I think like he was just trying to like. Ever, ever, you see he's trying this to. Shit? Pr- he's trying to. He's figure trying to it be out. like you, see, you. You guys see this shit? He's trying to sign her to, he his, was, to his basketball. <laughs> he went for like he saw an opportunity. He's like, an opportunity. I think she could be in the WNBA. He goes, that's like 15 <laughs> rebounds a game right there. <laughs> it's like easy. I, I just <laughs> he kept doing it every 15. Not even every five seconds. He'd be like, like look at her. Yeah. And I, I had to like. tell He smelled like shit too. He smelled so fucking bad. Oh, dude. He smelled so fucking bad, and I had, to, I had to be like, hey, can I talk to you outside? And then there's this thing, I don't know what it is, with black dudes, if I ask them to do anything, they just don't do it. No, nobody <laughs> just, likes They you. just ignore me. Imagine, <laughs> just ignore imagine me. you, a black dude, yeah, yeah, that's you. It's yeah, you're me. bald, and you, yeah, you have exactly. a mustache. I'm like, like your ridiculous face. I, 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 I mean, I, you look racist, and I know you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I walked in one day, and the guy's like, you look like a neo-Nazi. I was like, okay. Yeah, but uh, you look like Sully Sullen. Yeah, but I'm the fucking. But I was like, hey, can I talk to you outside? And he just ignored me, and I was like, did. and I was like, have called you a cracker hey, bitch. Hey, hey, buddy, he's like, he's like, he's like, pansy. He's like, he's like, should have pants you. He should have pants you. Like, made funny. He goes, look your dick. Like, your, your dick is curved. Like, look at that little curved tiny dick. I, I'm like, oh, it was, it was hard. I was like, why do you keep looking at her? And he was like, I, I, I'm not. Oh, you asked him that? Yeah. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> what the she's hell like, is she's going like, on What you? is happening no, she's like bar, getting dude. Un- She's getting uncomfortable. Like, this trans <laughs> woman is just like, obviously. And he's, this dude's not buying anything. He bought one shot of whiskey. And mm. she's like buying cocktails. Union so like, Station yeah. is the weirdest fucking bar it's on planet Earth. Fucking Maz Eisley, dude. It's, it's like, like you're drinking with Howard Stern's whack pack half the time. <laughs> yeah, <that's insane. laughs> you're like, hey, Baba, who is so I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, he's looking at her. He keeps looking at her, and one, and I'm standing by a bar, and I just go, what? And then he ignores me, and then he keeps doing it. And this woman at the end of the bar looks at me like, oh my god, do you see this? And I was like, okay, I gotta go over to him and talk to him. And I'm like, what? See do you, what? He just keeps, it's really, aggra- he's aggressively looking at this woman like every like five seconds. Like mm-hmm. imagine if you're sitting down and somebody just kept like, right. looking at, and I was just like, why he's do you a, keep looking a, at he's her? He's a down low brother. He's, he, that's the thing. I was like, you want to fuck her? Like you want to beat her up? Like what's going on here? You went up to him, you said that. You're like, you want to <laughs> fuck her? I was like, like hey, we can so sort some things out. <laughs> it's my bar. Uh, it was like, it was like, and then yeah, I was like, hey, you got to go, man. It's just, and then he was like, I respectfully disagree. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm a, hey, he punches, I'm a subject and a predicate. Puts his fist in his hand. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to have to respectfully disagree. No, literally. I like you as a person, but I'm going to be still, chilling here he all night. He tipped me five bucks, and then uh, yeah, he bounced. But I was like, man, he smelled bad. He smelled so fucking bad. Joey uh, <sighs> Joey has a story about a guy that... Oh, wait, wait, wait. we got to be careful with this. What happened? Oh, God. Okay. Joey you, has like one of the best stories I've ever heard. We can't heard. say what his position was no, because no. it will reveal right. what... So, but he but was he's high up in the government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High up in the government of South Dakota. <laughs> well, what? How, how do uh, we get into okay, this? Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll go with that. All right. So, yeah. No, I was hanging out with my mom. It was my brother's wedding. I'm hanging out with my mom. Yeah. And uh, she starts telling the story where she's like, well, this old family friend of ours, you know, um, she... <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I actually can't. I can't do it. I'm sorry, man. I can't. And no, I can't do it. I can't do it. Sorry. Fuck. Fuck. What was that? Let me let me sum it up real quick. Thank you, man. No, dude. No, no. This is so brutal that we started this and now can't do it. But we, I don't think we can. Basically, a guy. No, no, no. Edit it, it out. No, Devin, don't don't do don't. it. Don't. No, it's no, a vague no. guy. Is this a poopy thing? Did he poop himself? <laughs> it's pretty bad. No, we can't. did he shit on a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do he it! He shit on a hooker, didn't he? No, no, he didn't shit on a hooker. Come on, he did not shit on a hooker. No, he ruined his wife's antique <laughs> chair by, by jacking off and getting shit stains all over <laughs> it. What a fucking king! How do I vote for this man? And that's how he got caught for like, like. 
being like looking like an OnlyFans <laughs> girls is because of the shit stains on the antique chair. Sometimes you know you think you've wiped and it's not enough, and then you just want to sit on an antique chair <laughs> naked and beat off. To Apparently, OnlyFans men girls. everywhere just they're they're just their ass is just <sighs> like just full of smeared shit. Yeah, like their underwear is just there's streak marks all over. I think there's a lot of men out there that like literally don't wipe. It was such an uncomfortable story. Now that you said it, I guess we can talk yeah. about it. <laughs> now, that I, now that I ripped the band-aid off? Yeah. Let's talk about it. <laughs> it was so uncomfortable because I, I know them pretty well. How big was the chair that he was coming on in? He wasn't coming. I, I don't think he was coming on the dribbling. chair. There was just come. obvious... She said that there was like streaks. <laughs> there were streaks <laughs> on the that's chair. One, that's, streaks that's, on the chair. And this is a guy that I've like eaten with and I know like if I saw him... Was he there at the wedding? No, he wasn't at the wedding, oh. but it's like... And he was shitting in a chair he, somewhere. He's, 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 he's working yeah. on. He was, <laughs> he's like going to antique shops. <laughs> but he's like a respected man and like... <laughs> it's just like... Now that... And I'm and they haven't even fully broken up. So it's just like one of those uh, things yeah. where if you see them together, it's just like... You can't look either one of them in the eye anymore. Mm, yeah. It's just brutal. It's It was just so fucking tough. <laughs> Shit. Imagine being that old and that story <laughs> circulating around the town. <laughs> and you're like yeah. a big politician. And you're like a, yeah. And that's the thing. That's the other thing. It's like now the whole town knows. The whole town knows. Because it's such a s gossipy small place that it's like if that goes out there, it's like. They followed the streaks. <laughs> and they led all the way up to his home. <laughs> right to his yeah. jerk it, jerk it, jerk his, station. His little jack shack. His little jack shack. I just, I'm picturing like one of those wooden chairs with like the felt inlay on it and it's like really mm -hmm. nice and pretty and there's just shit streaks all over it she like inherited the chair from her father do you think he sat down at once got a shit streak on it then was like ah oh, fuck and then he like wiped it off and then he's like you know what fuck it it's I'm like a very it. it's he's like, like a, it's already shit yeah, it up it's like, like fuck, fuck this it's yeah. literally a relic the chair is like a relic it's an heirloom that he destroyed it's an old family heirloom with his shit and then that's not even the worst part it's not like he was just sitting there playing like fucking solitaire in his like with his shit with his shitty ass on it he was, he was doing weird. He was like, like paying women on OnlyFans. He was to like jack off while like, he's streaking up. He this, had like this a relic. Yeah, there's a JOI playing while he ruins your father's <laughs> prized possession. There's like a chair on the front of a covered wagon going down the Oregon Trail. This family's like this is the most expensive thing we own. We gotta get it out to the Dakotas. <laughs> Two hundred years later, some guy shitting all over it. <laughs> It's so brutal. Oh, it's bad. Jack just like feverishly jacking off to some perverted shit in a small town too. So it's like everyone knows you're well, at you're at you're at Qdoba, and the guy putting corn on your on your on your bowl is like that's the guy that that's the guy that <laughs> he shitted up the old chair. Shitted up the chair. God, dude, it's brutal. What yeah, can you do? Yeah. Life is tragic. Um, Life is truly in just brutally that's tragic. Horrific. That's the saddest thing. I think it's like sadder than like a death. This like hit me like a death. That's harder to hear than like a family like was killed by. Yeah, yeah, it's very debased straggler because it's down. embarrassing. If yeah. you just get hit by a bus or if a you know crazy guy kills you or something, it's not embarrassing. Why should telling people, bro? That's the thing. Well, like, God, she, it's, wants, it's, she wants it's blood. A, she yeah. wants blood. blood women, and dude. she she went out and told people and was like kind of like also like spread this around a little bit like she wanted people to know oh, about yeah. he's got to find something on her she's a dirty dog this lady yeah, i'm sure filthy. he's got shit on her but it's like he's oh he's got he's, <laughs> he's got good. shit on her oh but it's am a, i right it's also like he probably just doesn't care he's like busy yeah. jacking off he's, he's probably like, happy <laughs> that he broke the seal he's like yeah. finally he's like i can be myself that's his temper tantrum yeah he's, he's like i want this to end he's that's no he's just happy that he's finally been caught no yeah. he doesn't even care about that the whole town's talking about his returning his this shitty thing. chair he's, you gotta it's like man Getting exposed for your crazy jacking off stuff by the person that you trust the most. It's always so much harder to hear about that stuff when it's like a guy that's lived. He's like in his 60s. He's that's lived man. a whole full life. Oh, he's old? That's the worst. Watching like older guys go through really embarrassing moments yeah. is so devastating. Yeah. Because they're supposed to never have that. That's anymore. why insulting them works so well. Well, that's why you love calling them old F words. Yeah. I like calling old men the F word. John loves to call old guys the F word. Yeah. They think they're safe. I've seen it. I've they seen think they're it. fucking safe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We all we all went to Redondo Beach at the at, at night the other day. That was a weird little oh, day trip. Great. John picked us up because we're going to the beach. We go, it's about to be dark and it's a gloomy day. No, we get in John's car and he's like, We want to do a beach day, dude. And beach so day. it was like six thirty. Yeah, it was six thirty, but we we're... sat in an hour of traffic on the four oh five. Also, we get into John's One car time. and we're just like wearing a <laughs> it's cold out and it's night. So we're wearing like pants and a sweatshirt, and he's mm -hmm. like 
And John's in his swimsuit with the cutoff t-shirt. He goes like, yeah. Dude, "You guys, you didn't break shorts, guys. Like, how are you not going in? No, I don't go no, in the ocean. Like, the ocean's so gross. Yeah, I don't know about that. You jumped in. You jumped yeah. in. I jumped. Did you watch my jump? Devin nah, didn't see it. I didn't it was see a perfect it. fucking nosedive underneath a wave, dude. You're pissed off. We didn't see it. Yeah, kind of. But yeah, John was sitting there with his shirt off like a dunce, like he was tanning, but there was no sun. It, well, you know, I realized I actually wasn't that cold. I got into the cold water, and the water was so cold. I think when I got out, the, the cold air didn't bother me. Interesting. You know? That's fascinating. Yeah. Then I laid down, and then, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, that's amazing. Just listen to these kooks. And that's that's when I realized, you know, the world's horrible, but we got each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. We can just hang out. It was, a, really nice, it. It was a nice little day. Yeah, nice, it was wonderful. Nice little night. Yeah, me and we then went cruising and we fucked. We went bushes. cruising. We did. We we did fuck a few guys. Yeah. In the sand. Joey was railing lines of meth off my boner. Yeah, it was tight. Yeah. <laughs> you go out to Redondo Beach, you let loose. Yeah, Redondo Beach is sick. I, I I I. It's a great weird little. Like nobody goes. Like you walk around there and you feel like you're in like another state. Yeah, like it doesn't feel like LA. Like the people there are obviously from here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. It's a kind of a bougie towny place. It's like a shitty Orange County. It's more well, it like regular nice. Orange County. No, like, the, like their downtown area yeah. is not that nice. We should go to fucking Dana Point. That's where my grandma's from. I'd, I'd go. Yeah, Laguna Beach and shit. We should go down there. And Whatever. Just, they're all just there. white and fat. Just, just, yeah. They're just white beaches. Look at your sniffer of whiskey. You like this? Yeah. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that your glorious culture? Look looking. at the name. You're so sophisticated. I'm a sophisticated yeah. man. Uh. Um... Yeah, I just, I really, I just can't get over that the guy that got caught with the streak. <laughs> so it's like horrifying because it's like, man, you get married. I think they're married, and or they're, they've been together for like a decade or more. It's like you get into, you, you think you trust the person, and now, and you love them. That's what's so fucking crazy about relationships is that you could they you can could, go so bad. You go so deep that you come out on the other side sometimes and you'll destroy that person's life after having like 30 years with them like protecting them, yeah. loving them. Yeah. You become so hateful at the end, you'll just you'll act, you'll it's, it's I don't know how so anyone crazy how, gets how, married. how sick of people everyone can get. Everyone's I, capable of writing you off. And yeah. best best case scenario you break up and you're just you hate each other but you're quiet about it. That's yeah. it. Like you're dead to me is really that's that's a possibility with anybody out there that loves each other. There's a chance that it goes awry and they they hate each other for the rest yeah. of their lives and they don't care if they ever you know. Or like they they kind of so sad. It's it's fucked up. I don't know. It's or even if you you don't hate them, you're definitely still like you don't like them. Like I or you're sick of them mm -hmm. or whatever it is. Well, otherwise, why'd you break up? So yeah. it's, it's just like sickening. I mean, most people that break up never have that type of relationship where they're like, I still hope that they're doing well and I wish the best for them. Like everyone for their own sake, they have to do the scorched earth ending where they have to be yeah. like, I'm black. Oh, you're blocked. You never yeah. exist to me ever again because I'm hurt and I can't like there's no mature. It doesn't seem like there's very mature breakups ever. It's hard to do because, yeah, if, if you're like if you don't cut it clean then you're still like, oh, I'm, I'm toying around with the idea of like getting back to get. So you just go like, it's yeah, easier. You have to end it's it. It's easier to just be like, fuck them. They're a piece of shit. And you weave together a thing about how they're terrible, and it's yeah. just like, oh, it's fuck. always felt so inhumane to me, though. Well, like, you got it. Is sometimes you could just like, I, 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 I've done both. I did the scorch earth one with my last, and like I haven't spoken to her since. And then you have the one where I played fun with the last, with the one before that, where I'm just like, I could be friends with you, like, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you realize, like, I can't be friends with you. Yeah. And, you know. And then uh, you just kind of fade away from each other. And then, you know. It's the weird, the weird thing is, is there's, there's like a point in your life. The most bizarre thing is when, like, there's a point in your life where you, you there's a person that you're like, I would die for this person. Mm -hmm. And then, like, then you don't realize, like, four years down the line, you're like, what? I don't even know if they're dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, I just want to meet a nice little lady at Skankfest Vegas. Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I heard they there's a I heard a blind kid was blown on stage. They y blew a blind kid. on I heard stage. somebody blew a blind kid on stage at Skankfest. Jesus fucking Christ! I was watching clips of it, and it's like uh, a 600 pound man 69ing a comedian, and it's just like I heard they got Nick Avato. What the fuck? Nick Avato is at a uh, Skankfest. This guy. It's, this is like this is kind of the prototype of like a skank fest, like like a guy in the crowd. I think this is like the final form, and he's like vaping. He's closing the main event. Yeah, he's vaping, and he's just like real ass, real ass, real <laughs> ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it was a lot of great comics at Skankfest. It's just funny that the first thing I heard was like, didn't somebody text us? Like, yeah, a blind kid was just blown on stage. By a dude? <laughs> yeah. I think a girl, a woman blew a, a Jesus blind kid. Christ. No, it's like, it's a... I, I'm, there's a lot of funny people on the thing for sure. Like obviously, it, they they know what it is. They're running a donkey show, mm-hmm. and they're yeah, making a lot of money like off of it. It's and great. it's fun. Like I I would do the same thing if I could get rich running a donkey show in Las Vegas. <laughs> I'd do it in a heartbeat. Uh, but yeah, it's c- covered in freaks like this guy. Do you know anything about Nick Akato? Uh I knew he used to be skinny. Yeah, and yeah. then he did this to make money, and he's just like he's killing himself to just to like sell out on YouTube. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, he's gonna die, dude. He's, he's gonna got die. maybe like ten years. This guy's like this, this man is fucked. this guy's gonna die. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. And he's just how does he function? Oh my god! Yes. It's like I hate him. I hate him so much. I hate him so much. Holy fuck. My clothes keep shrinking without my consent. Jesus. It's your people's fault. Okay, house. Like, why should we protect, like, society, like, our society? Like, why should we care about anybody's life? <laughs> <laughs> like, why do we have, like, rules and laws against, like, killing people? I, 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 wanna... I was just thinking, like, I hope, why can't there be, like, a serial killer who finds him? Why can't there be muck like a guy like a like a zodiac for mukbangs? <laughs> like yeah, a guy that goes up. around just shooting <laughs> mukbangers in the head. He just walks right as they're like, "Gosh, the Raiders won't go talk." Son of br- Sam, they're in the brains car, brains blown out. <laughs> yeah, um, like a, a righteous serial killer. Ah, uh, no, it'd be fantastic. Like I, a guy that he does it for the not for the love of the game to per- save humanity. I fucking hate this guy. I, I hate him so much. He's such an embarrassment to humanity. He uh, is it, why is he making? Is he autistic or something? Because if he is, then I'll, I won't. No, say I think anything. it's worse than that. I think he's diabolical <laughs> and, and just care and just nihilistic. He's got a full mental capacity. He used to be like skinny. I know you're watching. Look at this. Why shouldn't Anton Chigurh I... pop out of nowhere and just blow his head <laughs> off with a cattle prod? He goes heads or tails. Call it. Call it. I saw the 700 pound milestone. <laughs> to, to your Anton Sugar. Oh, oh, God, he's 700 pounds? He's 700 pounds now. He finally made it. Jesus. He did it, guys. Give it up. Well, I don't want to be mean on his big 700 pound day. Sick of my weight spiraling out of control. Oh, my God. Uh, your Jesus Christ. Who's watching this? And Tons of people. Tons. How many views? How many views do we got? 496 fucking thousand. Jesus Christ. He has 917,000 subscribers. Mother of God. And they heard, like, a murder in the next room. Like, somebody was getting killed in the next room, and they just were like, do you guys hear that? And they were like, I don't know. Wait, seriously? And they just started eating again. Yeah. We, we live heard. in a cold and chaotic Here. universe. Here, listen to this. Wait, there was an actual murder? There was, like, you can hear a woman screaming next door. I think Tim covered this actually. Well, what's this guy gonna do? Uh, Nikocado murder. <laughs> Are you okay, that woman? <laughs> yeah. Here, here it is. Nikocado avocado records over a woman getting stabbed to death. What the fuck? I, I put Jack in the Box as number one because of the consistency and, uh, oh, so you can hear her not yelling. Not consistency of just the actual nugget, but how consistently, um, they're always on point. Again, they taste like this, but. Do you hear that? He's this like is, burping and horrific. like he's burping while a woman stabbed to death. She's probably killing herself. She's tired of listening. <laughs> Her to neighbor is Nikocado. Nikocado. Why would you not kill yourself? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, you just hear that. They don't. Sure. They don't act like anything's happening. Hmm. He's so lethargic. He, he, he goes. Do you hear that noise? He goes. Well, I don't know. These fries are good. I ate all the barbecue. Did you? You're still There's there. There's two more here. You're still up there. I, I don't know what it this is. This is like proof like, positive that like the fast food doesn't kill people quick enough. No. I know. Like they should yeah. be dying on this live stream. Like if it's so bad for you, why do they even get like at least six years of doing this? They should. I, I wish fast food killed. Like I wish if you ate too much fast food in like a week, you just die. It'd be cool. That'd if, be great. It'd be cool if um, there was like some type of thing where like one in six like there's a chance that you die while you're eating the burger mm-hmm. just to add some excitement to these mukbangs. Like it's Russian roulette. Yeah. But these guys, it's just going to be so slow and long and he's going to just get sicker and sicker. Yeah. Do a mukbang and like one of the chicken, the chicken nuggets is like poison. <laughs> Cyanide in it. And you watch them just yeah. like choke to yeah. death on their live stream. <laughs> I would watch that. It's so annoying. I mean, like you hear a lady live. screaming like that. You got to like go investigate. 
He definitely heard it too. It was yeah. so loud. He like stopped and was like, mm. "It's such a dark orbit." She was she was obviously like killed because that was her destiny because she's like already <sighs> living next to Nikocado. Yeah, yeah it's that's just, just supposed to happen. It's like, if you, sorry, you're living in a yeah. really dark demonic orbit. It's you a perfect in- hellscape. It's yeah. Nikocado's yeah. eating himself to death. Your neighbors yeah. with Nick Akato. He's he's bring Nick Akato is bringing that energy to your apartment complex simply by <laughs> being Nick Akato. Yeah, you know, of like, course you're gonna get stabbed to death. Right. Being, they probably the person stabbing her to death probably thought she was Nick Akato. He got the wrong apartment number. <laughs> right. He was trying to kill Nick Akato. Yeah. And he's just too fat to kill. He probably did stab. He's too Nick fat Akato. to kill. He's too fat to kill. He can't even kill this guy. He's too fat to kill. Too fat to fucking yeah, kill. I don't think a knife would penetrate. You, you could know. push him off a fucking off a skyscraper, and he would just bounce back up to the top. And he's doing the wacky face when he bounces back up. He's bouncing back up to go. Like taunting you. Yeah, bro. Yeah, he's like, you can't kill me. You yeah. can't kill me. Dude. He's like shaking You'll his tits in midair. Me. Like, like the like a really just a horrible, depressing King Kong. He's at the top of the fucking. <laughs> he's at the top Planes of the Chrysler building. Him. Planes are trying to shoot him. He's eating the he's bullets. He's like, oh, no. he's like, oh, it's pretty good. Need some salt. Oh, what an somebody, absolute asshole. Somebody catches him and chains him up, and they got him in like a theater. <laughs> They're showing him up. Ladies the and New gentlemen, York City. The, 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 what is it? The seventh wonder of the world, Nick Akato. <laughs> and he's just in a cage. Like, oh, do delicious Polynesian sauce. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. They find him on like uh, Skull Island, and he's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Hisco uh, Island is just like a bunch of French fries and burgers that he's yeah, just running. You, 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 you enter just, a cave, it's like slimy French fries everywhere. <laughs> oh god! Yes, the, the the cave is full of just like remnants of the shamrock shake. Yeah, <laughs> there's just green goo falling from the walls, and he's licking it. He's like, "Oh, delicious! Welcome to my welcome to my lair." Oh, god. <laughs> He looked, remember when the Joker like pretended to be a person and he put like human makeup on in that movie? He's like one of those cops. Yeah, yeah. yeah he looks like the clown from Spawn if he did that. He does a little <laughs> bit. He does a little bit. Let's go to his more seven hundred pound challenge. Where I don't even know why this. Is, how is it a challenge? He's trying to get to seven hundred pounds. Oh, it's hard. As family, and it's apparently for families. We have to do Walmart inventory. Now. What's also so insane about these people is like, like this guy, like is the blurred image on my screen. This is a worthless individual. He should, he should be used for like, like they should use him for petrol or whatever. Like, yeah. they, like why is he not being used for like oil? He would burn yeah. for a long. He time. should become yeah. the only purpose this man has is to become oil. If you eat for yourself our future. to 700 pounds, the government should come take you and use you as fuel. They should use you. Yeah. They, 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 your body becomes now a, a resource for a country that doesn't have, yeah. like, gas. Exactly. Like, this guy is why gas is so expensive. Right now, we, could be, we could be grinding him up. That's yeah. a wild way. And putting him in our cars. I want to see a wide... Like, can we see a, a picture of, it, like, him... Um, not, like, just so we could see his whole body. A picture of Nick Akato? Yeah. All right, let's type in... I'd love to see... Because 700, he doesn't look 700 to me. He looks like 500. Jesus fucking Christ. I wonder if he's lying. No, brother, he's 700. He used to be... Go to that one in the red shirt. He used to be like a vegan that like ate like acai bowls, and now he's this guy. He traded that in for... He traded um, that in. YouTube money. How much do you think he I has? That's what's so scary is that this guy has more money than like any of our parents like ever had, probably. How, does he have like a Patreon? How much do you think he, he makes? He does, he does. Let's, let's go to his Patreon. No, he might be 700. I wonder how tall he is. He's probably making so much fucking money, dude. Oh, he's got to be making Oh, it's like not even... You can't see it. Why do people do that? See, look at his net worth. Nick Akato. See what kind of liquid assets this guy has. (laughs) (laughs) Other than his shits. (laughs) Nick Akato. He's estimated in 7 million. Fuck Fuck yeah, dude. Good lord, Nick Akato. I want to see like a Cormac McCarthy take on Nick Akato. Who gets all that money when he dies? Uh, not, not Burger King anymore. Dreamers, <laughs> creepers. Jesus, Mary. What if this was your son? No, if this is my son. It's like you. I'd honor kill him. You wonder. <laughs> you'd, you'd, have have to. you'd have to honor yeah. kill him. If I'd this is like, your kid, you have to kill them. Yeah. Imagine his grandfather who like fought in a war, and he goes, "He's let me check on my grandson." He he has like I heard he has a little YouTube channel. 
Hoobie's doing good. <laughs> he's like, I miss father that was like in Iwo Jima. Yeah, he's yeah, like, he's what's my, what's old Nicky boy he's doing? Like, I, I love when I taught him how to play chess. We used to golf together. Let me just check in on him. I might miss him. And then he turns it on. He and turns, it's, 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 this is your grandson. <laughs> He goes and grabs his old bayonet and he, <laughs> he drives over there and he kills he his grandson. He starts loading an M1 carbine, yeah. Oh, God. That's what I always think about. I always think, like, don't, aren't you, like, don't you have, like, uh, grandparents or anybody that's, like, you know, embarrassed yeah. that you're about this? Like, aren't you ashamed? They're making money, man. Yeah, you that's, know what that's I mean? Just, it's just, just like, that's money, that, that is matters. true. Like, money, it's literally like, all that matters. You can be so anybody. fucking embarrassing if you're rich yeah. and people are just like, whatever. Like, he takes us on vacation once a year and it's. He can do. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah, they're like he makes bank. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he has a YouTube channel where he like smell, he smells diapers till he passes out, and yeah. then he like bangs his head, on, and and, then, and he makes like um, like three million a year. He makes bank. <laughs> Yeah, he's got like a Jankum YouTube channel where he just like gets high off of Jankum. And then he reviews Jankum online. He's a Jankum reviewer, Dad. That's <laughs> what I want to be. I want to review Jankum someday. <laughs> John is like having like an existential crisis because of this. He's not this even This is disgusting me. No, it's, it's you didn't know about Nick Avocado? I didn't know the debt. I didn't know the debt. Uh, okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I, this shit like bothers me. Right. Like it's so fucking I I'm, I see crackheads every day with like swollen arms and shit. I'm like I'm no, just, this guy's like, like homeless to me. He's like no, mentally, no, mentally it's homeless. Like, it's just this constant reminder of how just horrific our society's become in an extremely short amount of time. You're a honkler. I'm a yeah. I'm a real fucking honkler. You right got now. a honkler. I got a fucking. About <laughs> and I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about since like the the 1960s. I'm talking like in the last ten fucking years, dude. No, I know it's, it's it, insane. it is insane. No, all I can think about lately is just like we live in a cold, chaotic, random universe that doesn't care about any yeah. anything. It's just letting shit happen randomly. That's why No Country for Old Men's the best movie ever made because it it's about all of that. It's like at the end, Tommy Lee Jones might as well just be looking at the distance, like I had a dream. Nick, a guy named Nick Okada. <laughs> he's making seven million a year. <laughs> he's just, like some. He's there's some stuff I'll just never understand. Some stuff I'll never understand. And I, and I look and he goes. I look at my dad and he, 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 <laughs> he said, uh, what, what's, the, "What's the point?" Is this? He's like, "I won't be part of this life." <laughs> <laughs> That's why Tommy Lee Jones retires. He saw Nick Okada. That's why he retires because he 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 looked at Nick Ocado on YouTube. <laughs> he just takes his bad job and slides it. He goes, sure, ah, yeah. I'm done. Nick I'm sure done. Jones will not even take a gun with him. Do I really want to be a part of this? <laughs> his brother, Tommy Lee Jones's brother, No Country for Old Men, might as well be Nick Ocado, the guy that's like make some coffee or drink it all week, and he's got all the cats. And yeah, shit. yeah, um, yeah. He's like my brother was Nick Ocado's arch nemesis for a number of years <laughs> oh, the randomness and just brutality and coldness of life yeah I'd like rather... this guy being alive it might as it's it is as tragic to me as you know our friend dying yeah it's sadder actually while living he's sadder oh it's way sadder i it's think it's way sadder yeah yeah because there's just it's just so disgusting and shameless yeah. And also, it's so heavily rewarded by society. The fact that he's got $7 million. That's what's so fucked up, is yeah. how rewarded this shit is. We he just should be punished. This. He should be punished. He should be put in an Abu Ghraib. He, he should be in jail or in a camp, and he should be, um, like, beaten in public. He should, for, like, embarrassing humanity. Yeah. Absolutely. But we have, I mean, you can make money, make money doing it. Why did I say? Make a money. Do you make a money. <laughs> I turned into a never. I'm like, you can make a money doing anything. Nick Cacado, he eats a burger king. And it's like there's kids now. There's a whole generation of kids they're that gonna watch be this. this. They love Nick Cacado. And they're, they, if you, like, I, I was, some teacher was saying, like, she pulled her class and, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And our generation was like, oh, firefighter, what, blah, blah, blah. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a doctor. And now, like, 80% of the responses were like, I want to be a YouTuber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so they're all, like, watching Nick Ocado, and they're they're going, like, Mom, could you buy, like, 40,000 calories at McDonald's? I'm going to make a mukbang video. <laughs> right. And the mom's going, like, no. And then they won't shut the fuck up about it. And then they convince their mom it's their passion. Mm -hmm. And then now they're... By the way, <laughs> there's a lot of YouTubers out there that are useful because they already live very fruitful lives doing something that was uh, uh, meaningful. Like, you know, there's guys on YouTube that... 
they're in their fifties and they have an incredible like car channel, or they yeah. tell you how to yeah. fix cars. They do yes. woodwork, they're knowledgeable yeah, woodwork, yeah, yeah. and like that's good for them because all their work, all their all their hard work paid off. They have a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. They did that. These people that have YouTube channels for just being spectacles, just like disgusting right. spectacles. This is a psyop. YouTube what is, is this a, her mukbang Everything's a psyop. This is a fucking psyop. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Anything that comes like, from Asia. like, this is obviously some fucking... No, no, no. This is like, you know, in Venezuela when like we, there was a coup and then yeah, Nick Hikado no, no. came in. Listen, <laughs> where, where did mukbangs start? Is that... Are you saying like China's behind yeah, this or something? Yeah, let's see what's going on here. Where did mukbangs start? It doesn't sound Chinese, but it sounds Asian. I could see China being like, hey, let's Just start a up. trend. This mukbang, you know... Let's start an internet 2010. trend. Korean term like, for it's a YouTube it's a YouTube trend from South Korea. Yes, Koreans love this type of shit. In 2010, it started. Yeah, BJ broadcast style. jockey, a unique to Korea term for a vlogger, eats loads of food while narrating, interacting with their audience. So there was just like some like okay. depressed look, Korean look that up started first eating mukbang. a bunch of like like uh, you know fucking kimchi. Look up first mukbanger. Who first started first mukbang? mukbang celebrity? Just look up first mukbang celebrity. I want to go to early life. What do you think? It would be like Jagger Hoover? Yeah, it's going to be Jagger Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> Noss has a rap about him. Mukbang originated on the live streaming platform Africa TV in 2010. It grew in Yeah, it's Korean. It's just some Korean shit. I don't know, man. So what do you think the PSYOP is, yeah, John? What are you trying to say? I think they knew this would be popular. Who's that? I mean, what you think? Well, like, you the, think the powers that be are like make Nick Akato a Yeah, I want this man to have. Well, have you, you know, the, have you heard the Chinese TikTok thing? Like, if you go on TikTok in America, it's just like really vapid shit. But if you go on TikTok in China, it's like respect your parents and like fucking get jacked. Right, because be cool. they're trying to like make us all like I, retarded. Think, and they, I think they, they take over media. and they're all like, yeah. we make our beds and look at these like shit. These these Americans, they're all shitting themselves. Exactly. And, and they need like Jordan Peterson to tell them to like wipe their ass. <laughs> wipe your ass. Shit. Stop jerking off on the antique chair. <laughs> well, it, we are fucked because like <laughs> almost everything on YouTube that's like smart people, it's just them telling people like what to do. Like there's yeah. literally videos on YouTube where it's like Andrew Humerman tells you like how to wake up. Like we're fucked. Yeah. People don't even know like what to do when they wake up. They're we like, I woke up. Should I? Should I not? I guess I shouldn't eat like a box of cereal and then get a breakfast burrito. Like it's like a guy that's like famous for telling people to like wake up and like do some push-ups and get some yeah. sun. And people he's like, drink water, and everyone's like, "Wow, I guess I should do that." Like, how far have we come? Where we've forgotten just like basics. Now we're to the point where if somebody doesn't tell us, we'll just stay in bed all day and we won't do anything. Truly, because we got the yeah. Postmates, we got, I mean, dude, ads, like, you know, you drive through LA and all the ads for Postmates and all that mm. shit, they're catered towards, like, you being a, essentially, like, a convalescent. Yeah. They're like, they're like, did you just shit yourself? <laughs> like, there's an ad on Sunset Boulevard, like, did you just shit yourself? Like, Postmates is here. Do you want, <laughs> yeah, do yeah. you want some ramen without having to clean up your diaper? No, they're what? one step away. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's like a Postmates ad. It's like, are you, t do you want to just walk to the door with, with, your, with your full diaper and just, like, get some, like, ramen? No, the they're, one, is here for you. they're one step away from having a feature where it's like, you got priority delivery, you pay an extra one ninety nine. They're going to have a thing where it's like, the guy will will put the fork into the food and put it in your mouth for you, and uh, it's no, like five extra dollars. That will start become, an that'll IV. become a thing. Get it in your bathtub. It's like called like a bathtub add-on, mm -hmm. yeah. and you, the guy will just have like a spoon, and he'll just baby he'll feed, feed you. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's 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 at this point like like Postmates drivers, Uber drivers, like gig economy workers have the most discipline of anyone in our society. Yeah, I'm amazed by how good they are every time and how like they're nice a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. If that was me, I would just have like a gun in my mouth at all. Oh, we knew. Yeah. I mean, you knew when I was doing it. Oh God, it was horrible. It was a nightmare. <laughs> I was a horrible person. Yeah. You did what I think I would do, which yeah. is steal orders. I slowly people. started going insane. I went insane. I'd be pissing my pants, stealing orders. I was peeing myself, <laughs> stealing orders. I was like Howard Hughes, but if I wasn't working on anything, <laughs> you're not it was Howard Hughes. I was yeah, I was working on like a like an imaginary spruce goose, <laughs> and I was showing up. I was handing people bags full of fucking either sushi order, and my nails are all long. <laughs> my, my pants you're are doing filled, it from like ten feet away. My <laughs> pants are filled with shit. I'm handing them food like Nosferatu, like. <laughs> Oh my goodness, man! Uh, but no, it's uh, everything is so brutally bad. 
it's, everything it, is so sad. Is, Everything's it's all, so sad. It, this it, is it, literally like I I thought this would be fun. It would be fun yeah. if we had the whole crew here and I stuff. Wanna, I want to watch Jason Chinese. Rich here both both out today. So, but. It's just, one of those things where it's like our it's our fault too. Just, it's not like this guy. No one's living. forcing us to do this. Like yeah. YouTube is videos. You can go yeah. on there and you can post anything that you want. It's just a video. But then what becomes popular is this. Exactly. And there's some guy who's an expert, um, like jazz musician, mm -hmm. and he has three thousand views an episode, and he's mastered his thing. He's the best in the world at like some obscure instrument. And then Nick Accato has 500,000 subscribers and he's got 7 million bucks. No, it's really, it's insane. Like, I honestly, I've always had this thought where I'm like, if nowadays, like with this internet generation and shit, like if, like Martin Scorsese, like knowing who Martin Scorsese was, right? Yeah. Say he made Goodfellas right now and he mm -hmm. posted like seven minutes of it on YouTube or on like, like, like Twitter, it would have like... 143 likes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Martin Scorsese would be spamming like YouTubers and he'd be like, check out my movie, good Can fellas. I get a retweet? Can I get a retweet? <laughs> like, I've been working hard for a while, man. Like, can I get a retweet? Like, like, like I would love to work collab. <laughs> and meanwhile, like Nick Akata's like, the, the, the views keep coming in. <laughs> It's it, people need to be better, but how do you how do you convince them? They're gonna you watch. Have to have a war. There has to be like a giant cataclysm. John is it really I'm, pro I'm, like reset everything. Yeah, there needs to be a. John fucking thinks giant, like people need to be like yeah. gutted in the streets. Yeah. I like. I think he's yeah. right, and he might be right. I don't know. I've kind of always thought that too. You know, you know, everyone that's listened to the show from the beginning knows I used to call for big like public uh, service announcements, like you know, call to actions. Like you know, yeah. if, if you're feeling a certain way, it's probably because it's true, and you need to you need to take action. On yeah, that and take to the streets. Mm -hmm. Do whatever you want out there. Yeah, maybe you need to do something. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, but you know, like that type of shit, yeah. you know. But we need camps. We've always needed camps. I've always yeah. thought we need camps. Well, we need a draft because it's going to need to be something that forces this this generation needs to be forced. It's too late, dude. Well, no. you know, they brought back our, our generation is fucked. It's never going to yeah. get better. But the one below us, below us, has they hope. can be drafted. Can we draft no, them? No, we can still be drafted. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, what, but, do, uh, what do they really the, uh, think they're getting? They're gonna get, you yeah, know, there's gonna be a big, gonna be is, big is fire. Nick Akato's supposed to fucking eat all the fucking, all the bombs? We drop him on. <laughs> <laughs> we drop him on. We send Nick Akato into a fucking, to a war zone. And uh. he's, he's, dis <laughs> he's, dis he's disabling bombs with his mouth. He's like, ah, oh, pretty tasty. He goes, ah, oh, it's kind of plastic. Oh, no, it goes down smooth. Oh. <laughs> again, it's like a cartoon. There's like steam coming out of his ears. <laughs> they make him walk in front of tanks to like check for landmines. Yeah. But he just like absorbs the explosions. He absorbs he's every like, rolling explosion. Got another one. <laughs> Hey guys, there's a uh, watch out over here, guys. <laughs> Landmine just went off. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, How yeah, you doing, no. Johnny? You're not you a little, little low energy. Oh there. damn, I'm just What's with you. I'm just, I got like you're five hours. Tired. Of I told I've been you, I told up you like you're gonna overextend yourself. How many fucking podcasts are you doing? Oh, huh? God. Mine, yeah, I don't know my girlfriends. You're yeah. doing fucking everybody's podcast. By the way, yeah. I had a complaint about the smell of my shit earlier. I she always there. complains about upstairs, the smell and it's like she told me to use the poopery, the potpourri. Yeah. Poopery is more disgusting than the smell of my shit in my opinion. No, false. It, that was the funniest. It was, it was the funniest goddamn thing ever. So I like the smell of my. I'm shit. sitting in the living room. Devin leaves. He just took a dump. His girlfriend walks out and goes like, she smells it, and she goes, "Oh my god, it's so disgusting. Why don't you use the potpourri? It smells so bad." This is the word. This is disgusting. And Devin goes, "I don't like how that smells. That potpourri." <laughs> 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 it smells like lavender, right? No, it smells like this weird vanilla. It's like a, oh. it's like a very, oh, it is vanilla. It's a very artificial smell, and yeah. the smell of my shit's very real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's organic. It's, it's organic. Raw. Yeah, it's. She's also very sensitive. Like I couldn't even smell anything. Yeah. I, I think she's just like. She's she's Women. got like a really good nose or she's, something. She yeah. smells everything. They got predator yeah, yeah, yeah. senses. They can like fucking. When Ida goes back to Dallas, she'll like text me like, "Did you take a shit?" <laughs> uh. John, look at look at look at the. He's all stressed. He knows he's got to do like thirty other podcasts tonight. Yeah, You're not I, giving me what I need out of you. What do you What do you need from me? I don't know. I just want you to be the Tugget Man. We need Tugget Guy. Bring up another Tugget Guy. Oh God, no! I can't do it under pressure. You started Tugget Guy. It's kind of brilliant. I well, I, we I've, both started I, it, but you but you. I thought of Tugget Man. 
while taking a piss. Wow, so you're giving us like a behind the yeah, scenes. Behind Is that the behind the scenes? Because yeah. I thought we just came up with that at the table. Did we? I don't know, I kind of think I thought well, a, I remember I think you're I just, becoming a creative I, I like, control. You're John's, becoming a monster I'm trying now. to I'm trying, no, I'm trying to put it on the record become, that I came up with he's it. He's telling it like how like an inventor so, would talk yeah, about my, like the telephone. He's like I was taking a pen. Yeah, like, <laughs> the tug it man came. I remember, I remember well the seeds the tug it man were planted while I was taking a piss and I'm looking at the urinal. We're in like what Alabama or some shit. Yeah, we were, were in uh, we were in yeah, Mississippi. Bur- Bur- Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, we're in Alabama. Yeah, we were and uh, they you had, had anti-abortion. The... Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I didn't, yeah. I didn't. We didn't. It made me sad. I just want. I need. I just want you to be happy. That was like again. the the apple John's for too Isaac. Busy. He's fucking choking out like like schizophrenics at uh, Union Station. He's got no energy lately. Yeah, I, you get like those adrenaline. What happened spikes. to the kid? What kid? The kid. Johnny the kid. Oh, I'm the kid. Johnny used used to have a, a childish spirit. Yeah. Now you're this. You're just, you're just like a broken man. Yeah. <laughs> you're just this sad bartender. It's like Barfly. <laughs> you know, I, 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 dude, here's the other thing, though. I didn't realize how much social energy I use at that fucking place. Of course you Oh, do, my dude. God, dude. You're constantly getting... I turn it the fuck on, dude. I've seen you there. It's fucking it's crazy. Wild. I'm like a fucking... I'm, you also were very aggressive with your guests. Oh, I could be a cocksucker. I was yeah, doing a real cocksucker You're the, mo- the rudest bartender I've yeah. ever seen. Yeah, it was wild. No, like, truly. You have to be at Union yeah. Station, It's because you have to develop that skill, it's but John's 50, very mean. No, I'll, I'll very be, mean to people. I'll, I've seen him do it because 50% of the customers at his bar are homeless, or they have something yeah. seriously wrong with them. Mm-hmm. Disabled or homeless. So you have to kind of be tough, but I've seen them be pretty rude to. Regular. I make fun of people if they don't drink their drinks fast enough or something. Like it's just like, yeah, that's like not professional. Or if they keep opening and closing tabs, I'm like, what are you doing? John also has this. You'll scandal. say, what are you doing? Yeah, I just go. I go. I go. I give them looks. I'm like, are you gonna do that? I like, love opening and closing tabs. Yeah, I hate that shit. So I think annoying. it's funny. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. I was a real. I was a real dickhead today. To who? What uh, happened? I, I had a. Uh, it, it was an honest mistake. There was a group of three women. And uh, two, they were all. Well, like, you gotta they looked related. They looked related, and one of them was older. And I went, "Mom," and it was sister. Oh no! Oh it fuck! Like a real dickhead. That's Jesus like a Christ. day ruiner. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Yeah. You're really taking a lot of liberties yeah. with this bartending job. You yeah. you never do, mom. You always you even if it is clearly the mom. Yeah. You go like, "Oh, you sisters." Yeah, exactly. It's like it's it's a it's a slam dunk thing to say. Yeah. You fucking blew. But it. also, like, I gotta John's see. John's like, oh, I fucked wanna. up today. Like this group <laughs> of women walked in. I said, "Milk for the cows." <laughs> <laughs> they all got pissed. I don't know what happened. Honest mistake. Honest mistake. They looked like a bunch of cows. <laughs> and I thought they wanted milk. They were wearing black and white. They, they were They walked huge. up to the bar. I went, moo, <laughs> moo. I don't know. They all got pissed. Yeah, there's a there's a man in a wheelchair who comes in every once in a while. And he's, yeah, what do you do? He's you really flip him fun. over? I tip him I over like a push cow. a guy out of his wheelchair. <laughs> no, he just came in and he was like, he's homeless. <laughs> <laughs> you put a stick in the spokes. Uh, he's, 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 he's like homeless. Big Daddy, like he's coming yeah. down a hill. I throw a stick in front of him. He <laughs> flies. In. Yeah, he's homeless, but he's actually pretty funny. But in, and he has like bought a bunch of drinks before. But man, he smells bad. Are you like talking five, about the guy? Well, that they, they can't. They can't no, get all no, the. They can't get rocks. That guy rocks. They can't get uh, all the crevices. And I had to. He came in, and I can't. I didn't have the heart to tell him he stunk and he had to leave. You kicked so, him out for stinking. I looked at him and I see he went. He comes in. He does this little dance in his chair. He does a dance. He, does a little, he goes. Wee. Like he's excited to be in the bar. Oh, it's really that's so fucked nice. up, dude. Why is it fucked up? That's so sweet. That's kind of yeah, sweet. And then I have to tell him to leave. So I Why went, do you have to tell him to leave? What are you, a smells, fucking Nazi? Bro. You're like <laughs> 10 feet away. He smells. That's dude. okay. Some people no, don't know. Dude. No. How bad does he smell? Because I got to f- so, like piss. Like piss. Like WD 40 and shit like, for the wheels. So bad. And I was so like, bad. that piss smell is so overwhelming. Yeah. And I, I told him he can't cook. Because he piss, keeps piss coming. Piss can in. smell bad. Wait, well, because homeless people, they not only are they yeah. pissing their pants, but it's that homeless piss where it's like. It's hot. Kind of smells like it, weed. Acid, and it, well, it's, it's like 10 years of drinking every day, so your body starts getting all fucked up, and then He's your like piss, piss starts to smell like poison. Yeah. And then, you're cu- and then you're pissing, and then you're pissing on top of the dried piss, and then it just yeah. builds up and builds yeah, up. Yeah. It's, it's urea crystals. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's a buildup of piss. <laughs> yeah. piss pyramid, it's a piss pyramid. You had like, to kick them out. Break their pants with the flat of a shovel. A lot of homeless guys always <laughs> smell like when I so there's when I smell weed. Sometimes I actually f- it reminds me of like a homeless guy on the bus. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, it's yeah. like it's you like, ever been to the beach, like Venice or one of those areas, and there's always the homeless guy that's like smoking weed. Yeah, and there's something about the weed that smells kind of it smells more homeless. 
the weed smells homeless. It's because they get that they get shittier weed, I think, Maybe. and it has its own smell. And then it comes, and then the but then the the smoke gets on their their homeless clothes. Or they, it's like, maybe it's like a skunk, you know, where like some people smell a skunk and they're like, oh, is that weed? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, you have that with homeless people. Like, you'll smell a dirty bum and you're like, damn, I, I want to get high. That smells yeah. like some good shit. <laughs> is that kind of the thing? Kind of, yeah. Like, like, like that, like there's a type of um, alcoholic smell too. Like, I've smelled people that have drank before. Like, I, you know, I've been around, we've been around each other after drinking and we wake if up you, and we're kind sure. of sweating booze. Of course. But, like, there's that smell of a guy. Like, you ever been on public transportation, and there's an obvious, like, passed out drunk guy, and, yeah. like, he just reeks of booze? Because their yeah. sweat starts... How do you even smell that that booze? Oh, in? it's their, their sweat, yeah. It's when you... it's With dirty it's clothes, like and, and it's, like, it's like this days, mix of everything. Multiple days of drinking, your sweat just turns into booze, and then it just... It adds well, up. It's nice to know the body's working. The, the crazy one yeah. is like you'll. My favorite is not my favorite. It's kind of crazy how long you can ruin your life and stay alive. Oh yeah. Yes, that's what's always been insane to me. Like you could go like fifteen years. Oh yeah. With the worst habits known to man. I don't know about that. Ten. If you're not ODing, yeah. Well, I like, mean, no hard yeah. drugs, booze, cigarettes, booze will fuck horrible you. food. Yeah, but you still get like ten. There are people years. who have done it for like for 50, 40, 50, fifty years. Yeah, 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 dude. And then there are people who ruin our dreams. It kills people. <laughs> <laughs> trying to, uh, it's like, trying to get in the way of Joe and I's next thirty years. <laughs> I'll see like I'll see junkies on the beginning phase of junkie dumb, right? So like yeah. you'll see people coming in and their clothes are kind of new. You have a night. You have, hold on. You get a little. You get a little. Yeah. Thank you, darling. Uh, they, uh, <laughs> He's making you look kind of like a little too sophisticated. A little sophisticated. Looked like a mole. And uh, made you look smart. Yes. They, the, the, I had this guy come in, and it was like he was obviously on like the first 30 days of addicted to heroin. And mm -hmm. he was just, they're pale, and they're clammy, and they're asking for water. And they're mm -hmm. like, he's still like charismatic, and he's still like, he's chubby and shit. And it's like. Chubby heroin addicts. Yeah, sad. you're like. You know, phase one. Phase one, they're losing the weight. And it's like, oh, man. And they, but those people fucking reek, dude. When they're sweating for like three days straight. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's nasty. Yeah. It's a, it's a weird like baby shit smell. It's like not even sweat or BO. It turns into something different. Baby shit's yeah. very pure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think baby, <laughs> baby shit might be the purest thing on earth. If, yes. <laughs> I'm just, gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna go with the bite. Bite. yeah what well because i've always heard that people kind of like enjoy the smell of their 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 new ba newborn baby shit what? Where, I, who did you hear this from i haven't heard this um my dad <laughs> <laughs> gary glitter like, no, what's i don't know on? if anyone's actually said that i think i'm just making things up now but i always thought people love the smell of just little babies like it's, I, yeah, it's baby life breath. baby breath baby yeah. baby smell yeah if you Even love your shit, baby you're like I, I you're think like you, you love your baby so much that you just start romanticizing because you're smelling the, the a yeah. system work for the first yeah. time it's a system working for the first time sure. it's the first moment a system works now it's like when you love something it's just like the it, Nothing can be wrong about exactly. it. It's yeah. just like this is beautiful. Everything about it is beautiful. Like you'll just turn it every negative into a positive. Mm -hmm. How do babies shit when they're in the womb? They don't, buddy. They never shit. No, they aren't have they, they getting they have food from their mommy cord. though? They have an umbilical cord, and then they shit through a cord. I think, and all then this, the mom. Am like, I, am like, am I mom wrong? Like, the mom. Does like, all the stuff come out through there? There must be some waste disposal. I don't Look know that what the up. fuck. Do it babies is. poop in the womb? Do babies poop in the womb? This is the type of stuff we you get here at the Haywood. Man, imagine, <laughs> imagine me shitting in the womb. Oh, God. Oh, wow. It came up like they heard us. While your baby often passes urine while still in the womb, oh. they won't poop until after birth. What a bunch of horseshit. That's, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Your baby's first poop is called meconium. Mm -hmm. As your baby begins to breastfeed or drink formula, their body will get rid of the meconium, making room for processing the milk or the formula they're drinking. Interesting. Okay, so they you learn something new every day here at Hate Watch Podcast. You something new every... We're a science podcast, and we teach you about myconium. Yeah. This has been a nice little weird episode. It's like a meditation on life and the brutality yeah. of life. But I, I, I want to... I, I, we got to attack something. We got to attack something? I'm ready to attack. Maybe maybe we'll figure, we'll think. finish this up, and then maybe we find a new thing to attack. Because I want to I wanna go into attack mode. I'm nice and juiced up now. Let's, let's do it. That's, I'm defeated by life right you're now. You're all like, you're really giving us nothing, and I want to, I'm about to like, I'm yeah, about to fire you. <laughs> fire <me. laughs> I'm broke. I'm going to fire you. 
Uh, yeah. I think Sorry, it's time fellas. you leave. You've overextended yourself. I, I've you've only shown, had one cup of coffee. You've shown me you care more about my girlfriend than me. I, I literally, what if he's, I'm, I'm what literally, if he's like I'm a, literally g- g- formulating in my head, how do I tell Ida I can't do her podcast tonight because I got no steam left in me? It, what if he does Ida's after this and, and it's, it's he's amazing on yeah. it? And he's no, like, I, I feel like when he does it, he goes, he snaps he into it. He turns it on. When he's on ours, no. he's a big sleepy no. bozo. <laughs> no. She's always complaining about me yawning. And shit. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She's always like, you, you are don't yawn when I talk. You're doing too much, my friend. Uh, you know, I You're do working a lot, too man. much. You're kicking too many homeless people out. You do jits. You just fucking rocks. John signed up for a. Cl- he was in school three weeks ago. Yeah, that was cool. He was like doing homework, like a I retard. I went to school. I went back to oh, school. I, I hate I anyone school, in their thirties. Immediately quit. If you're in your thirties and you're at school, I hate you. It is one of those things where it's like yeah. Cause, pathetic because people become go like class. doctors Wait, and you, lawyers at age twenty five, and yeah. then you'll find out like somebody's getting like an optometry degree, and they're like mm-hmm. thirty five, and it's just like. What went so wrong? John with you? was going to class. Yeah, I was. I was showing up. BCC. This guy showed up at his bar and was like, "They're gonna cancel my class if they don't have enough people." So John, because he's a great guy, he signed up. For I signed him up for to the help class. the guy, but then he like actually kept showing up. Yeah, it was fun. I was showing up. I was learning. But then he was stuff. like acting like he was ruining his life. He's like, "Dude, I fuck at this class. I have class." <laughs> I have class. Like, yeah, I he was complaining about it. Like he he was going to get a degree. He's like he's like telling his sister. He's like, "I can't make your wedding. I have class. Yeah. Like, I got to do homework." It's like, yeah. Fuck. I got to study tonight. Yeah. How do we sneak out of here so I don't have to do po- Ida's podcast? <laughs> we just we do another one. We do another one. Yeah, we do like a banger. A real banger. This is more of a thought. This is more. Oh, you're saying this is the Patreon. This is more on that thoughtful tip. You think, you, what you think? What you think? What you think? You're, what you think is happening? No, I don't is know I'm, what this episode is. What you think is happening episode. is I'm slowly releasing my energy and trying to like ramp up for Ida's podcast. What's so actually happening is I have nothing left in the tank. I'm I'm fucking. Yeah, you're finished. I'm Casey Affleck at the end of Manchester by the Sea. <laughs> yeah, I burned my. There's really nothing there. Like, there's, there's, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. there. <laughs> there's nothing there. There's nothing there. I'm on oxy's. I I bur- killed my children. Would you ever? Yeah. Would you ever? Yeah. You, you ever think you're going to develop a drug problem? Zero. No. Watch me get addicted. Why? Watch, <laughs> watch me just get addicted. Just watch me. Just because I said no. Just watch it fucking happen. One day I'm just like, you know, I don't feel. You're so the only good. guy I know that doesn't drink because you say you're depressed for like four days. Afterwards. Yeah, I have six Pacificos, and I just got. It's just a diarrhea train and anxiety. Hmm. Yeah. It's all that anxiety coming, Joey. I mean, we, you and I both are like, we, we, you know, we have anxiety, but we're not fucking fags about it. No, yeah. I just suffer. I'm like, it's worth the fun. Like, it, I sure I feel anxious right. and stuff, but no. I had so much fun that it was worth I it. I just don't think it's that fun. Yeah, that's the thing. John yeah. doesn't have that much fun. I guess he doesn't fun. have that much fun. I like, my fun is like going to Redondo Beach. My fun is like, you know, going to the park, taking walks. Wasn't that funny? My fun was walking, across, walk around, walking around the reservoir. Love that. What, remember it was funny? We, we should have killed those two people. We should have murdered those two people. <laughs> that would have been Devin fun. kept Devin that kept asking me. That would have been like a mix me. up. Imagine if we killed them and then we have to like figure out what to do. Yeah. We go, we also go like hey, we probably only got like a couple days until we're caught. Let's go crazy. It's we'll a have a up. couple of crazy. It sh- shakes up the day. It shake it really shakes things up. Mm-hmm. I want to do crazy things all the time just to like mix up my day. I get it. I'm I w- at like Chipotle. I want to like take the gun out of the cops like holes. <laughs> oh, I thought about that all I wanna, the like, time. I want to like blow his brains out like at the Chipotle. And then, yeah. and, then, and then everyone goes, hey, what are you doing? I go, just kidding. Yeah. Well, they or, think that little leather strap's going to stop me. It is you know such I mean? a bullshit strap. Just unclip it. I could kill so many cops. Isn't there like a trick to undo it? Like there's yeah, you it, undo it. No, but like you have to like slide it down and pop it out or something. Because I've seen videos where like somebody's trying to do it and they can't do it. Oh, really? I really? think I think it's like a child lock. Where have cops try doing uh, people have tried doing that to cops and they can't get away with it. Yeah, there's like something where it's. Why don't we just look uh, up how to undo a police officer's holster? Let's put that on the internet. <laughs> let's put that on the internet. Let's Dev. educate. Let's do people. something really cool. Rapid force duty holster. Police officers' rapid reaction to rapid force duty holster. What is it, John? Just do the top there, one, bro. You got to put it on the TV, by the way. On the TV, bud. This is how we okay. execute. So my we body. were refusing to go into the Uvalde school. Your gear holster. <laughs> this is what we didn't do. Yeah. So when we were waiting in the hallway playing Pac-Man while children were killed at Uvalde school, <laughs> this is what we didn't do. But we could have done it if we wanted to. <laughs> Award winning and most trusted American made. I want one of those chest. Billion everyday care. My, 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 my mechanic was just like showing me his gun the other day. 
Do you want to talk about what you just did? That guy looks like one of the rapists in Wind River. Oh, yeah, that's fun. I don't know. Is it illegal no, to mention it, this outside? Say it, say it. Uh, you know, in, yeah, in, fuck in, it. In California, we have like very, very stupid rules for the environment. And so everyone that's lived here has to go through a smog test. It's absolute fucking bullshit. Bureaucratic bullshit. Mm-hmm. Where your car has to be like, you know, up to the standards of the quality of air. And uh, my catalytic converter light's been on for like a year, and I've just been doing oh, nothing no. about it because I'm like, it's a fucking, it's going to be a lot of money. And Devin has the best car. It's a Lexus that he inherited from his grandma. And it's an old Lexus, and it's the, it's when they made these engines like fucking tanks, okay? My car, it was in, like, the same engine was in, like, the tank and Fury. Also, the front door doesn't <laughs> open to the driver's seat. So I, I my, yeah, yeah. my, my pass, my, my door doesn't open, so every time I pull up somewhere, I have to, like, hop out of the passenger door. He crawls, door. Cr- I crawl. I crawl through. through my car. It's like uh, so pathetic. Lloyd Christmas. <laughs> no, I, 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 I would pull up. I would have more confidence if I drove the dog car from Dumb and Dumber <laughs> or the scooter. If I pulled up on the scooter, I'd feel better about myself. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the car's falling apart. People just keep hitting it. Like it got it got in one crash, and then I think there's like people on the road are just like fuck this guy. They just like hit me. It's like bumper cars. <laughs> They're like it's already kind of fucked up. Like whatever. Like, I've been hit like three. He doesn't I've been, care. I've been yeah. hit like three times this year, and I'm yeah. like a great driver. But like out of nowhere this year, people just like bash in. <laughs> they're just like fuck this loser they just hit me but anyway my car was not about to pass the smog test and i was like kind of panicking i'm like fuck man i gotta get like a new car like it's not catalytic converter it, it, the car is already has so many problems that i'm not it's not worth paying three grand for a fucking catalytic mm-hmm. converter so i was getting a little nervous but then thank god my my wonderful um mechanic my childhood mechanic and his kids who i've known very well they know a guy no they hell yeah. And so for weeks they were like, "Hey, he's not there though, because he's always getting arrested." That rock. <laughs> he's like he, in a gang. He's right? like a gang member apparently, and he's always getting arrested for. I don't even know if he's in a gang. I don't, he had tattoos. You know, he's one of those yeah. guys. Well, like, if he's constantly getting arrested, yeah, he's probably. I think he was getting arrested for uh, smog test. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Wouldn't they revoke his yeah. authority to I, give smog? I think they love it. It's like it's like how Batman needs like Joker. <laughs> yeah. I think the city's like keep him around. It's kind of fun to raid them. <laughs> he keeps us on our toes. <laughs> they, yeah, the, the the city is like they keep us on our toes. These, these <laughs> fake smog test guys. The <laughs> Yin and the Yang <laughs> sheriff. Yin and the Yang, yeah. <laughs> He's like, can't live with them, can't live with that. Can't live with that. Big smog guys. So anyway, fucking these guys vouch for me because this guy was only there for he's only there for like twenty minutes a day because he's terrified of getting arrested. <laughs> but uh, they my 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 friends vouch for me and I, so I showed up and the guy's like, you the guy? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and uh, gave me the smog check, paid him, paid him a little more than usual. Mm. Um, and then he goes, uh, he goes. Uh, in two years, if you if you still have this car and need another one, you don't even need to come in. He goes, just call me. I'll send this shit in. <laughs> yes. He just said it like he'll just send in like a document. Like a <laughs> it was really fun because I went I went straight to like I went straight to like fucking triple uh, A right after and I got my tags. Finally. Dude, fuck yeah. And I was just like looking at them, like, yeah, you don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> Kaiser so sad. Fuck if you knew what this fucking Such jalopy, a f- fucking racket, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's insane. Think, you need to buy stickers dude. for your car every year. It's a fucking nightmare here. It's dude. no, it's a scam. They're about to tell me my car, which drives, even though it's a hunk of shit. I look like Saul Goodman everywhere yeah. I pull up. I literally look worse <laughs> than Saul Goodman. I have to jump out of my passenger seat. <laughs> yeah. I literally everywhere I go, I pull up. I'm like, I'm like, yo, I'ma fuck you up. I pull up to like my sister's. house. And I have to jump through the passenger window like a yeah. clown. It sucks ass, but the car drives, and I shouldn't have to go buy a fucking new used, you know, six thousand dollar car that I don't have the money mm. for because uh, uh, the uh, a little thing under my car, the environment. Yeah, getting, like, fuck you. You might as well put down a down payment on a new car or some shit. It's yeah. insane. I saw a guy almost get beaten with a tire iron over a fucking smog test. By the way, I forgot. I need to say this before I forgot. One of the people I got hit by, like about three, uh, two yeah. weeks ago, I got hit by a one-armed black man. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the freeway. I was in. It was like bumper to bumper traffic. You're going like four miles Why per is he hour. Why driving? I don't know. He's driving. It's just some hunk. Of, I it, think you can drive why. with one. Arm. I, I know. No, I he's allowed to drive. They recommend uh, you know three and nine on the wheel, <laughs> but. Yeah, this guy. It was really annoying because uh, it was the I made the most obvious lane change. Mm. Like 
it's uh, the sun's beating down like we're facing the sun so mm. everyone has bad visibility but I, that didn't matter in my case because the guy hit me from behind yeah um but you know you, you don't you make you, you know when you're like a traffic jam on the freeway everyone's going really slow yeah i signaled like for a minute you know a minute mm. straight and i finally saw that i had like plenty of room mm. so i start slowly making the lane you know how you make really slow lane changes in traffic yeah so I made this. It was it was like the most standard lane change of all time. And I I look in my rear view after I made. I already I like looked behind me. I saw I had plenty mm. of room. This was not my fault at all. <laughs> like literally at all. And like I'm insurance. And I made a, I made a a, a a the lane change. And then I look up in my rear view. And I'm like this guy's like not stopping. Oh uh, yeah yeah. That's the, guy, the worst feeling. The guy just forgot to stop. Or he was yeah. either blinded by the sun, or he was distracted. Well, or he, he had one arm or because something. Because he had one arm. <laughs> and maybe the fact that you know yeah. I, I, I fucking you know captain hook was driving the car yeah. uh, he hit me mm-hmm. and then i'm like oh yes mother like i don't even my car's a hunk of shit i'm like i wanted to just like roll my window down and be like i don't care yeah fuck off but i did so i pull off the freeway in burbank takes forever to find a place to pull over i pull over you know this fucking uh, this guy gets out and i could tell he like was gonna pretend like it was my fault mm. and he's like he's like man fuck Fuck! He's got this like gay dog in the car too. It's gay. He had this dog. It was like fucking a man in the car. (laughs) No, he just had this like little little, tiny little yappy little like white dog that must have been his girlfriend's or whatever. Mm -hmm. But he gets out. He's just like being like, I'm like, is this a thing? Like, I'm like, because I was about to walk over and be like, dude, I don't care. Yeah. But then I realized, oh, he's pretending like I just like ran into him. Yeah. And I go. I said, like, were you, like, uh, like on your phone or distracted or something? He's on his phone with one arm. And, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I saw the one arm, and I go, like, where are you just... Were you just this? Is this an arm thing? Or? I thought, is, this an, uh, phone thing? I is this a phone thing? Yeah. Or is this the fact that you lost your arm? Probably in another accident. Because you're a bad driver. Mm-hmm. I knew a person who was... Doing this out the window. And they lost their arm. And the fucking car clipped them and just yep. took the arm off. My knew- dad always told me that would happen to me if I did yeah, that. Yeah, it's staying, like, don't, you don't. We know that person. Yeah, you know him. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Ari yeah. Shafir made fun of them. Oh, that's right. That's right. And called them I out. I couldn't remember who it was. Like, publicly. He- it was very weird. You know, it was an Ari Shafir on brand move, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, he said, like, her. she had a smelly He did, like, 20 minutes on this. On oh, it was on a special. On a special. He did, like, 20 minutes on this, like, poor amputee that used to do open mics. That was us. fucking crazy. And I remember God, watching the sad. special, and I'm like, is that the same woman? Like, how do you do it on I'm a like, special? I'm like, she's not, like, a dick. Like, if you let it slide on a podcast when you're just saying shit, I may, like, okay. But no, to, he did to it. do it in, in front of crowds for a long time and then to build it up he, and get it into a special. He built it up for his special to, like, <laughs> to like dox this, like, amputee on his special. Like, literally insane. So just, you know, another thing that he does that's great. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, this guy was, like, a combative one-armed man. And yet you don't want to be like, come on. And like, then, what was it? Like, I, so yeah. one of us has both their arms. I was like, dude, it was a stand. I was literally about to be like, I, I don't know. I wonder, like, if it's the guy with two arms or one. <laughs> Is that yeah. fault here? I was about to, like, I was, like, getting annoyed with him. That's when you call the cops, dude. I didn't call the yeah, cops. He's a black dude. I'm not going to call the cops. Um, what do you hear him? It just becomes hell. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, I don't want to deal with the He's cops. Got one I'm arm. joking about the black guy. Thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. Shit about that. I just didn't want to. I didn't yeah. care. I'm like, he goes, "No, nah, man. If that was true, like it would, I wouldn't be dented on the side." I'm like, "You're dented on the side because you hit me as I was vertical, making a yeah. obvious lane change, and you just kept coming." Yeah. I wanted to be like, "Yeah, sure. Everyone could get in accidents when somebody lane changes if the person refuses to mm-hmm. stop. Mm-hmm. That's the, how lane changes work. Yeah. yeah. Somebody has to break. Yeah. And you're supposed to be." aware of that but you weren't so you hit me whatever and he goes i want to handle this outside of the insurance if that's okay and i was like uh no yeah i was like no i like pay insurance and that's the whole point and i'm like he like texted me and i was like yeah, i don't want to do this thing i hate that shit. i was like I'm, I'm i told him i'm like we're not doing this thing where we like text each other for days on end and you get like 500 bucks out of me yeah because i'm afraid of you know captain hook the black man like i don't <laughs> not i'm not into this <laughs> yeah yeah i don't care listen yeah. okay i don't 
we're going to do the insurance. And then he was like, okay, I just got to get some shit. For, I got to get my, you know, so they have to send me a digital copy. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. So then we left. I immediately blocked his number and I didn't call my insurance. And I'm just, that's it. <laughs> hey, there we go. It's annoying. That it, honestly, the minute, the minute you get a dent in your car, people start hitting you. Yeah. Everyone it's like me. broken window theory. Yep. Where it's yeah. like you go into a neighborhood where everything's fucked up. You're like, oh, who gives a shit? It's already fucked up. You start littering. You exactly. Start, yeah. No, it's truly what's happening. People literally treat me like shit in my car. People, yeah. I, I'm, I'm at the point in my car where my car is so busted that I'm on the freeway and I'm expecting people to just get out of their car and pull me out of my window and just like beat me to death. <laughs> they're like, Your car sucks, dude. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I saw a guy almost get beaten to death with a tire iron. Not being to death. It was uh, that's I was being I was ex being exaggerating. I was like it's fucking eighteen. I was getting a smog check, and I went to the smog check place. Star station. And I just remember no, this is up in Montrose. Has to be a star station. I don't know what it was. It probably was. <laughs> but it has, I, to be, I, uh, has to be star certified. I uh, I go in there and I'm sitting down waiting for my smog check, but they're smog checking this guy's car before me, and the guy's like, and the dude, the the mechanic comes in and he's like, he's like, listen, man, you're not gonna pass. Like, don't even pay the money. You're not going to pass. And the guy was like, I've been here like 15 times. Like, blah, blah, blah. And he looked like Jerry Rafferty. That's very nice of the oh, guy to say yeah. you're not going to pass. Yeah, he a lot was of like, times don't they waste take the money. Your money and they know you won't pass. This dude goes to his fucking car, pops the trunk, and takes a tire iron out. Nice. And starts threatening the mechanic with the tire iron. And the mechanic is like this, like, Mexican dude. And he's like, fuck you, man. Like, he's like yelling at him and shit. It was crazy, man. Like, people... It's literally life ruining shit they make you do. That's yeah. why they yeah. used to kill you if you stole somebody's horse. Because if you can't travel, you're like ruining somebody's yeah. life. Yeah. So some broke dude, it's like you take their ability to drive away. He's like, all right, well, my fucking kids are going to starve to death. I'm going to yeah. beat you to death with a fucking tire iron. Yeah. People get wild. emotional about car stuff. Dude, road rage is fucking. I think oh, road, road rage yeah. might be one of the biggest. Like, you know, uh, in terms of, like, statistically, like, random acts of violence must be road rage, right? Mm -hmm. I mean. I've yeah, had, I bet had, you're I, right. I've had people come out and punch my window before. Yeah, that's crazy. Scream crazy shit. God like, got into the weaver stance and almost yep. Shot blew your brains out. That wasn't road rage. That was just rage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. God tried to kill us. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot when God tried to murder us. Yeah, that Weaver was crazy, stance. brother. And you said, you said Weaver stance with the cops. Weaver stance they they the thought cops you were an immediate like, school shooter. Yeah. <laughs> they They're the like, take guy. a note on this guy. He knows about the Weaver stance. The coolest thing was the, the detective was Japanese. I just thought that was the coolest The guy that shit. called that us cool. later yeah, he was like on. an old Japanese, Japanese guy. detective. Yeah, he was cool as fuck. Yeah. He's like, I usually work like domestic Fukuzaki violence cases. His name's Fukuzaki. Yeah. I wonder if he's like at any time like uh, is he like in the Asian crime unit? Yeah, there's just an Asian crime unit. They just handle those Filipino Crips. Yeah, there all, is an Asian yeah. crime unit. Shut the fuck. I up. I swear to God, look it up. Is. LAPD Asian crime Shut unit. Shut the fuck up. It's man. fucking sick. I, I I learned about it one day. Asian yeah. crime unit. They just handle crashes. It's just it's just <laughs> Carter and Lee. <laughs> they got a task force. It's a task force yeah. for crashes. <laughs> no, they like uh, d they deal with slap houses and shit. Uh, or Vietnamese slap houses. You don't know about slap houses? No, it's a slap house, buddy. A slap house is when a Vietnamese oh, well, they have an gang eight. gets together and they buy a bunch of arcade machines and they uh, put them in a house. Yeah. And uh, you can play the ar it's so it's like you, any arcade game, but mm -hmm. you can win you win money if you hit like a high score. So yeah. they're gambling on arcade games, basically. Yeah. And then they're all doing meth, and like it, it becomes a, a drug dealing situation. You should find one. I've looked them up. Uh, you, well, I, this I, just, I got invited to one. I got uh, invited to one, but I didn't go. That's NYPD. This just says it's just like an Asian hate crime task force. Uh, if, you, if you type in like Asian crime unit on Google, you'll you'll see. Um, I love Devin always typing to Google.com. In the, in the what am I bar. supposed to type in, just, fucko? He's just Asian crime. Asian crime. He's using like a search bar. Asian, uh, Asian crime NYPD. unit. And then go like police Los Angeles. You got to put it on the screen too, by the way. LAPD. They just have a hate crime unit. It's just hate crimes. They're just all, yeah. they're all like pissed about hate crimes. Did I fucking dream this? Past You're work of Asian to. Crimes Unit is focus of allegation. Oh, okay, yeah, there you go. 1995. Yeah. Oh, shit. That was in a while ago. Maybe they discontinued it? Oh, it's just Koreatown hostess bars in the 90s, I guess. Yeah, it's just old, old Asian people and shit. Yeah, those Korean hostess bars are crazy. 
What's a Korean host? Uh, called? I've never been to one, but it's like I heard I would drop people off at them and like you pay like a fuck ton of money and like you go into these like clubs and like they just have like really pretty ladies like serving you drinks i think they're like also hookers mm. but it's like thousands of dollars like, uh, there was one right by where i live exactly that was the, the one Langham. i dropped the guy off yeah at when i was a new what was driver. it what was it called what it was just like a hostess bar and like i dropped a guy off there once and i was like you, you know because i asked people what they're up to and stuff on the evening and then he just like told me what it was and i was like how much is it to like get like he's like five grand or some shit yeah, it's crazy. So they give you For a waitress what? who basically just hangs out with you. Yeah. So she'll she'll instead of just like serving you, she'll sit with you all night and hang out with you and give you booze until like well, it comes with a bottle, and then she just hangs out with you all night and mm. kind of has sex with you if you want. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's a cool thing for, uh, and it's hard to get into if you're not Korean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the other thing. The guy was like, he was Armenian, and he was like, I know, I can go because I have Korean buddies and yep, shit. Yep, exactly. You know? Where was it? By you? Koreatown, right? The on one Wilshire. by me was. Um, Is it like a hidden place, or does it no, have it's a not? It's it, looked, like a, it looked like a club. It's a big club. So yeah. it was. Um, it was. You know that big church, the cathedral, mm -hmm. next to yeah, yeah, across yeah, yeah. the street from um, where Sirhan Sirhan tried to kill uh, Bobby Kennedy, right? No, no, no. It was um, by the Go Go Bop. Remember that Korean place? Yeah. So right across the street from that was the church. And then if you just go back toward my apartment, the, the, it was like in a little corner. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're crazy places. Interesting. Mm. Korean? Uh, we, we, I, I went to a couple Korean nightclubs, and there's weird rule. I feel like anytime you're in an Asian club, there's, 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 they go against the rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? I don't know. I just feel like in my time, I feel like Asians don't abide by the law. No, they don't. It is kind of weird. Like, you'll see those karaoke places. There's, I've seen a lot. I've been with my friends back in the day to Korean, like, nightclubs and shit. And there's a lot of, like, weird, like, pretty, like, adjacent to prostitution type stuff mm. happening. Yeah, they're kind of like. Where they, I'm like, this can't be legal. But they make their own. I don't think anything. I don't think you guys ever get in trouble. They just get looked over. Like, nobody looks into them. They're not under microscopes like other minorities. Mm. They figure out how to break the law in a way where it would be, like, really annoying to bust them. Yeah, you go to any fucking Korean barbecue joint that's open past 2 a.m., they're still serving alcohol till 3. They'll just give it to you in the water cups. Right, right. Yeah, yeah that, that's happened to me before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they don't They'll serve it past 2 a.m. Yeah. Little shit like that. That's like, that's, like, nothing, but... Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. What a, <laughs> what a shitty episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you fellas. Suck. I'm fucking. You know, I thought this was like your main concern in life. I thought, like, I thought John. I well, thought I gave him a new lease on life. I life. thought the podcast gave him a new lease on life, and then every he's all it's all talk all week, and then we get here, put the headphones on, and he's a sleepy bozo. I just you know every goddamn time. No, I'm yeah. kidding. It wasn't a bad. Episode. Oh, this no, is actually good. interesting. Like just people were just talking. This is kind of like us at the at Joey's like, apartment. This is just us sitting in Joey's place. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we this is uh we've never had one of these before. Like Richie and Jay's are gone. It's just this is I think it's the first combo like this. I think yeah. it's the first time we've all just it's just been us. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. nice. Those are fresh. What are you gonna do after? Are you gonna do I? I cannot do I. You gonna come hang out with Joey? And I'm I. gonna come hang out with you and Joey. I cannot. We're gonna do watch the Dodger podcast. game. And we're gonna. She's hang gonna out be and... devastated. Well, she might need some time to. She, she doesn't want you with low today. energy. She's not gonna want that. And also, like, I just I don't have pose that pose it that way to her. I'm gonna say Ida. I woke up at set for some reason. Should I start a should I start should I start a fight with her so you get out of it? You can it. start a fight with her and I'll back you up and I'll be like, I don't fuck you, dude. I'm gonna be like, I'll I be like, uh, Devin's right. I'm gonna be like, well, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna I'm gonna Devin's should, right, I, should I text Ida right now and be like, why'd you leave this out? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, no, no. What, I'm what? gonna text Ida and be like, where's the volume remote? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> where's the remote to the sound bar? I'm gonna be like a real dick. I'm gonna put it all yeah. caps. Yeah. Do it all caps. And then she's like all pissed at me. She goes, where's this coming from? And I go, yeah. I've had it. <laughs> yeah. I go, I've had it. This is a long time coming. I'll be at Joey's. And then she'll text you. And she'll, be, she'll be like, oh, I, I I, have to figure something out with you. Yeah. Maybe we do that. I, I, uh, I'll I, help you out, buddy. Yeah, I need to get the fuck out of here. You're a fucking I haven't mess. eaten today. I woke up at I can't sleep past seven anymore. I don't know what it is. I'll go to bed at two. Can't sleep past seven. Should we go watch this Dodger game? And get you some food. Fuck no. Get some food in your I tummy. Need, I need something. Dude, all I've had is like a handful of french fries a day and two cups of coffee. A handful of french fries? Yeah, somebody left their french fries on the table. I'll eat food people God. don't finish. God, you're so sad. Yeah, it's fucked. You're so sad. I walk around all day a ghost of my former self. So sad. You know? You're a shell. I'm a Paul Schrader film. Hey, <laughs> they freed happen. Adnan Syed. 
Yeah, who gives a fuck? I care. I don't care. I was invested in that. Love Adnan. (laughs) What'd he do? What did what he was accused of killing his girlfriend, Heyman Lee, and he's uh he's after twenty years he's out. I forgot who he was, so in I can't confirm. In fact, they found, they found the multiple thing. DNA, so apparently it was two people. They should have exonerated the I second I think it was happened. fucking Jay. I, di- I, again, can't contribute because I don't know him, but I, I'm i glad he's out. And you better be. I'll fucking kick you right I out. I listened to the first two episodes of that fucking It's thing. great. Why do you finish it? Yeah. You never finish? I finished the Bergdahl one. You don't finish anything. Yeah, I'll finish you, buddy. Yeah, you'll finish The only thing you, <laughs> finish, you finish is finish fucking you. eating whipped cream out of my I'll finish ass. finish your ass. It's the only thing you've ever finished. Oh, yeah. The only thing I've ever seen you finish is the fucking that Skittles parade in my butthole. All that gum and shit. <laughs> that one time you ate all those Skittles out of my ass. <laughs> Just uh, popping out I've, one by one. Only you've ever <laughs> like a Pez dispenser. We gotta go take over another town soon, you and I. Yeah, we gotta go. Remember when we took over that town and me fucking my, and, my, and my cousins? John has my, to come to South yeah. Dakota and take Patagonia? over Patagonia. We took over Patagonia. We were yeah, like, I we, think, we, uh, we literally walked in like it was like Tombstone. We like walked through the streets. Yeah, I got we kicked like, out of the bar. Holiday, that's why it herb. We were like, yeah. yeah, you're goddamn right. Yeah, we we just were really just we really had our nose high at that one first brewery we went to. We were like, oh, this is shit. This and we also sucks. hated the food. They had yes, that they had that potluck food. food. They were like, we got barbecue. We spent like we spent like eighteen dollars on shitty potluck barbecue. And they were they were like it's delicious. And we were like really, mushrooms. there's flies all over it. You guys <laughs> suck ass. Oh, it's disgusting. I got kicked out of a bar because I kept handing everybody mushrooms. Just John was a lot that night. I was killing it, dude. <laughs> I fucking ran that joint. Uh, that was legendary. That's legendary. Driving, shit. yo, that shit was like a movie, dude. That shit was a movie. <laughs> that shit was a movie. Um. Yeah, let's fucking what do we? Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap wrap it up. I'm sorry, everybody. God bless you, folks. We'll uh, we'll get the whole crew back in here ASAP. Um, just some weird shit happened. Just fucking guy got sick. Richie got sick, I think, and uh, Jace is coming back from. uh, Just got back from uh, traveling. So yeah, this is why uh, this was this. Um, but I think this was fine. It was nice. Let we'll see. We'll see. Uh, who knows? You know, I really don't know anymore, and I also don't. You know, maybe. Uh, I suspect we'll be viciously attacked for this. Probably a lot of attacks. Oh, they can. You know, uh, rightfully so. Why don't we just like make this Patreon, and then we'll fucking. Um, you know, we'll get the whole crew in here. As, yeah, yeah, as, yeah. As, as, as soon as possible. Maybe it won't come out Monday. Maybe Tuesday. Instead, yeah, but we'll put this next week, and we got that good fight. You know what I mean. Makachev, yeah, Oliver. Makachev, Oliver. That'll amp us up. That'll I'm going to go to an open mat on Sunday at yeah. another gym if you want right. to join. Yeah, nobody cares, Joe. Yeah. Nobody cares about nobody that. Cares, fuck you both. Shut up. <laughs> fuck you both. You fucking, Shut up, you fucking, <laughs> fucking, you fucking, fucking, fucking pussies. You fucking bald. I'm going to fucking <laughs> bald ankle. retard. I'm going to fucking kill you, Devin. Bald idiot. I'm going to finally uh, do it, bud. Uh, what's it like to be bald? <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, wait, I came home the other day and Jordan just looks at me. He's on the couch. He goes, dude, you look like Kalu. <laughs> What's Kalu? That guy, that fucking bald kid, the cartoon. What? The fucking Kalu or whatever, that bald cartoon kid. I don't know what that is. Uh, you you failed it. again. See ya. Another, another miss <laughs> for fuck John. This shit. Okay. I'm Goodbye. never coming back. Goodbye. 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 God bless you. Thank Love you, you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah, I think that should just be fair.